So let's talk now about the Dreamweaver CS3 interface and how um, it can help you be more productive. So what I mean by this is um, when you go into a room, okay, imagine going into a room and you're a designer. So you have very bog standard, very clean clinical interface. That means very little panels, just about two or three panels to help you design, and that's it. Then imagine going out the room and you turn into a coder. Okay, you code uh, databases and, and stuff like that. Then it turns, you go back into that room and it turns into a coder interface. There's books everywhere, there's loads and loads of panels, and <laughs> imagining that's what a coder's person's like interface would actually be like on a desk, you know, everywhere. With coding, you need lots of panels and you're going to need lots of help when writing code. So, really, um, it's not going to be a very cold clinical interface, it's going to be lots, lots more, okay? So, what I'll do is I will click on HTML and you can click on any one of them but this allows me to give you a basic view of the interface now you have two things here that you probably don't recognize you either have them open or you don't have them open right now or later on when you actually open it up for yourself is that you do actually have a few panels already available to you some very very important panels actually you have these right here okay there's an arrow here and here and if I click on them you can see that it's brought up loads of panels now these these this is sorry the most important panel out of all of them the files panel okay it's very very important because it controls all the files and whatever I don't care what you say it is the most important panel because without it you couldn't upload, you couldn't do all that stuff, you needed another program to do it for you. So the files palette is extremely important. Now, I want to make this the focus, okay? So, I, I'm i just going to tell you how the panels work first of all, let's do that. Every panel has a title, okay? Now, whether you have tabs in a panel, okay, so you have a panel like so, or a panel on its own, if I can find one. Well, no, there isn't there any. <laughs> um, it doesn't matter. Uh, but basically, you can have a panel on its own. Now, if you're in a tabbed view, what you can do is you can click on a tab and you can rearrange it. And you'll notice that the name has now changed from files and snippets and assets. Um, it was files and s assets and snippets. Okay, so you can flip them around. Sorry, I didn't mean to do that. You flip them around and you do it like so. The next thing you obviously have, which I've just shown you how to do uh, by accident, is to take a tab, click on the tab, then click and hold on the tab, or just click and hold on the tab, and then drag out. And once you do that, it turns into what I like to call a free-floating panel. This means that it's not confined to a dock anymore, because this is what this is called, it's called a dock. And this is called a dock as well. You can have horizontal and vertical docks. Vertical means up and down like this, and horizontal means across like this. Okay? So you have two choices there, a horizontal or a vertical dock. Now this gripper allows you to add it back in again as a tab. You can see that it comes back as a black border around the main panel. Okay? Now once you do that, you let go, it turns back into a tab again, and you can rearrange it to the front like it is. I can also drag it back out again and close the panel down altogether or by itself and if you want to close down a tab you right click on it and say close panel group and once you do that it will close the, par the panel group okay now I'm not worried about mucking up this interface and I'll tell you in a couple of tutorials time how to reset your interface but for the minute, I'm only interested in the files. I hard, I never use the snippets and the assets um, very rarely use. So at the minute, my main focus is on the files. Now to put this back into a dock again, you click on the gripper and you 
hold down and you go under with a black line and once you do that it allows you to add it back into the docklet and if I get them four hours again that gripper can you see where all them circles are okay that allows you to drag it away and out and so forth also when you click on the arrow or the title okay just you gotta make sure you're on the title and you can expand and collapse this panel so I can add it back in, I can add it out, I can collapse it, I can close it all together, which I'm not going to do, and so forth like that. Now if I put it back into my docklet again, you can have two or three docks. So let's say I want one for just the files palette. Okay, so basically I click, hold down and drag, drag it out. Then what I do is I hold down and drag again, and can you see, when I go up to that line, when I go up to that arrow, hold down it brings up a new square box you're probably going what is that well if I let go of my mouse you'll see that it's actually added two docks okay it's actually added two docks so therefore I can have one for my files and I can have one for my CSS and application and development and so forth so very very interesting very good so now what I do is I drag my files palette out again and then I add it to the bottom of the list like so. Also what you can do is take two panels and basically put them under each other. So I hold down and drag and then I click and I put it right under. Okay. Now that allows me to have a free floating panel but it allows me to have two panels inside of it. So a free floating panel with two different palettes inside of it. So think of these as palettes and this is a panel. Okay. So Dock, palette, and panel. Okay? Those are the three main ones you have to remember when working with your interface. And so therefore, what you can do now is have your own interface. Now, all the panels that are available to you, if you go down the Windows menu and you look down here, you'll actually find every window available. Okay? So every window that is available inside of Dreamweaver CS3, every palette that's inside of CS3 can be found right in the window menu. So if you ever close a panel and you didn't mean to, look down here for the title of that panel, such as the files, and therefore it allows you to reopen that panel. So that is the Dreamweaver interface.